Hi, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Vicki here, coming to you from Southeast Central Kansas. Um, just wanted to go through a few things that have been going on um, the last day, day and a half, I guess now. Um, and also, always reading scripture, amen, being encouragement to the body of Christ. Um, so let's get into it, okay? It is June the 25th, 2018. And we are still waiting, okay? I don't care how long it takes. We're going to wait for Jesus, amen? Okay. We're going to go to Ynet News. Some stories that, like I said, came out the last day and a half, okay? We'll start from the bottom here. Uh, let's see here. Let's see. Okay, it was yesterday, like in the middle of the night type thing. You know how that goes, because over there, you know, it's, you know, they're way ahead of us in time. Um, Russians, uh, they bombed, Russian forces bombed uh, some places in south south syria okay um they they killed a number a number well it says here they killed 70 syrian rebels killed in fighting in the country south okay so when that happened uh, you know with all the bombs going off and everything you know i've reported before about how uh the people in jordan okay uh, when those strikes happened uh, the people in Syria took off rushing toward uh, rushing toward the Jordan uh, border there with Syria okay and King Abdullah has come out already the second and said that they are not going to allow you know the this new uprising or whatever you know people fleeing because they're being bombed, we're crying out loud, you know, which, you know, King Abdullah II is right now currently at the White House with uh, President Trump, okay, trying to figure out all this mass chaos, you know, how are we going to fix it, how are we going to bring peace and safety, okay, um, the Iranians also, you know, those people, you know, they, you know, I feel for these people, okay, because it could happen to any of us at any moment, any given time. You know, the governments, you know, they do as they wish, okay, not giving us a single thought, okay. Um, but the Iranian people, uh, they've been having big protests because, you know, they need jobs. They, you know, their, their money is like basically almost worthless since... Uh, the United States pulled out of that fake peace with Iran and, you know, we're no longer funding that, <laughs> the P5 plus one, you know, it's just ridiculous. But uh, I guess they stormed, there were protests in Iran, okay, thousands of people stormed uh, Grand Bazaar and uh forced uh, their marketers, you know, they have little booths or whatever set up in the streets, you know, they had to close them all down because, you know, the people were rioting, you know, mass chaos, you know, and this is still going on in Jordan, you know, it's still going on in Gaza, you know, it's going on all over the world. I mean, for crying out loud, we got LGBTQ parades all over the earth, you know, every weekend. You know, it's happening here, it's happening across the earth, it's happening in Israel, okay? Um, also, you know, speaking on that issue, um, there were hundreds of thousands, don't know how many for sure, um, that were running out in the streets over the weekend, you know, in Israel, you know, gay pride, you know, pride, pride, pride. Um, days of Lot, okay? Um, 
uh, United States uh, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, okay, he warned Iran that they would face the wrath of the world if they started up their <laughs> centrifuges again, you know, in hopes to reach a nuclear nuclearization, okay? Wrath of the world, okay? Um, let's see, what else was there? Um, well, the big deal right now is that uh, Prince William has arrived, okay, in Israel, okay, the Duke of Cambridge has come to go on his tour, okay, and um, we've already spoke about, you know, his itinerary, you know, and, you know, the World Cup's going on in Russia, the FIFA, the World Cup, you know. You know, that, that does say a lot about the culture of our day, okay? Um, people are just, you know, crazy over this stuff. It's like, really? Um, I mean, you know, I love sports. I always have. But when people started kneeling and protesting at games, you know, I was a huge Dallas Cowboy fan, okay? Loved the Dallas Cowboys. Loved football, you know? And now I just don't have... I don't have the stomach for it because every time you know they want to come out there and kneel down and say it's our right to protest and stuff it's like no it's your job you know it's your right to entertain us you know do your protesting on your own time amen that's the way i feel about it and i know many of y'all feel exactly the same way you know um But, you know, they're, you know, everything's just going on, you know. Uh, Turkey uh, has already declared Erdogan the winner. Well, who thought that he wasn't going to win, you know, his uh, re-election, right? Um, you know, they're, you know, all working together trying to figure out, you know, how are we going to, you know bring humanitarian aid to the Gazan people, okay? There's people suffering all over the world, okay? Not just there, all over the world, okay? Um, there's so much going on, so much evil wickedness. I just can't, I just can't hardly bear it anymore. And this is how we know, you know, this is the season. The 70th week of Daniel is banging on the door, which is the time of Jacob's trouble, okay, not the church's trouble, okay, the Lord Jesus Christ is about to rapture his bride off the face of this earth, okay, I believe that wholeheartedly, and I know y'all do too, okay, but it's just um, crazy insanity, you know, things that are going on here in the United States, you know, uh, Democrat, you know, and I am going to bring this out because this is just utterly ridiculous. Democrat uh, Maxine Waters came out over the weekend and was uh, telling her constituents and all of, you know, the far left, you know, if you see any Trump supporters out or if you see any of uh, the Trump delegation out at dinners or whatever, at restaurants or whatever, you shout them down. You yell them down, you know. You obstruct their good time and make them leave and stuff. Well, that stuff was happening over the weekend. It happened to two different people. Uh, Sarah Huckabee Sanders, one, you know, the press secretary of the United States, you know, for President Trump. You know, she was at a Red Hen restaurant with uh, several of her family members, okay? And they came in and just started shouting her down. And the manager told them they had to leave. It's like, really? 
really? You know, I mean, that's just insanity. Um, also going to bring up the far left, you know, uh, going on Twitter, Peter Fonda, uh, has been of an actor as far as I'm concerned. He hadn't done anything since he just now, you know, he, he pulled this nonsense right before, uh, he had a new movie coming out this last Friday called Boundaries, okay? Boundaries, really? Well, he had gotten on Twitter and threatened Baron Trump, Trump and Melania's, you know, young son, uh, with kidnapping and uh, putting him in a cage with pedophiles. It's like, really? You know, we got people running around this nation, you know, standing up for a bunch of illegals in this land. You know, it's just, where's the law? <laughs> Where is it? You know, it's complete and utter lawlessness. And this is not just happening here. It's happening all over the earth. Okay? And I'm just sitting here in awe going, Okay, King Jesus, we're waiting for you. <laughs> I love you guys. I really do. I love my family in Christ. Amen? We're going to read out of Isaiah 43. We're going to read uh, verses 1 through 13. Okay, this gave me some beautiful comfort this morning. The Savior of Israel. But now, O Israel, the Lord who created you says, Do not be afraid, for I have ransomed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you go through deep waters and great trouble, I will be with you. When you go through rivers of difficulty, you will not drown. When you walk through the fire of oppression, you will not be burned up, for the flames will not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I gave Egypt, Ethiopia, and Saba as a ransom for your freedom. Others died that you might live. I traded their lives for yours because you are precious to me. You are honored, and I love you. Do not be afraid, for I am with you. I will gather you and your children from east and west and from north and south. I will bring my sons and daughters back to Israel from the distant corners of the earth. All who claim me as their God will come, for I have made them my, for my glory. It was I who created them. Bring out the people who have eyes but are blind. Uh, who have ears but are deaf, gather the nations together. Which of their idols has ever foretold such things? Can any of them predict something even a single day in advance? Where are the witnesses of such predictions? Who can verify that they spoke the truth? But you are my witnesses, O Israel, says the Lord, and you are my servant. You have been chosen to know me, believe in me, and understand that I alone am God. There is no other God. There never has been and never will be. I am the Lord and there is no other Savior. First I predicted your deliverance. I declared that I would do and then I did it. I saved you. No foreign God has ever done this before. You are witnesses that I am the only God, says the Lord. From eternity to eternity I am God. No one can oppose what I do. No one can reverse my actions. Glory, hallelujah, praise the Lord Jesus. Glory. Stand strong in the faith, saints. We're going home. Maranatha.